Everyone knows that using the shortcuts on the keyboard really helps to speed up the workflow in any program and that really applies to more complicated programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you have been working in Adobe Premiere for some time, you know that you have your own assigned shortcuts, but what if you have to move to a different machine and then all your shortcuts stay on the other machine? Well, the good thing is Adobe Premiere allows you to copy a keyboard shortcut presets and today I'm going to show you where they're located so that you can easily copy them and save them on a different machine. This way you're going to have your all your shortcuts in one place so that you can use your favorite shortcuts on the any machine that you're going to use. And this is going to be real simple. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more Adobe Premiere Pro videos coming out soon and actually I'm going to have a course coming out. So if it's already out, you can check it in the link. You can go ahead and check it in the link in the description. If you find this video helpful, give it a like, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and, and let's go get started. Let's go. So if for example, I'm gonna open up any project, doesn't matter which one, I have this project already made up. There's two ways to get into the shortcut menu. You can either press Ctrl Alt K or you can also find it in the edit menu, go to the keyboard shortcuts. And once you have all your desired shortcuts, assigned to every combination of letters that you have. You can go ahead and save your own preset. Right now I have my Pulsar Tech preset ready, but just to show you, for example, if I go to the custom and let's say I've decided I want to update my keyboard shortcuts menu. So I just added an extra one, deleted some. So then I can go ahead and save it. And right here, let's go ahead and call it Pulsar Tech two right now i have two of them here i have pulsar tag two i can also delete it later if i don't like this but let's go ahead and find where those keyboard shortcuts presets are located on windows machine go to the main drive where the windows located this is a drive c in my instance then you're gonna go to users and go to the username which one you're using on, your, on this machine which is pulsar tech then you gotta go to documents go to adobe go to premiere pro i'm using 2020 which is 14. the next version is going to be different as well so you got to choose the version that you're working if you have a multiple versions they, you're going to have them all here in this folder right now i have only one so open up this folder and then you just got to go to profile then go to the windows folder and as you can see there's your shortcuts uh, preset files here and I have Pulsar Tech 2 and Pulsar Tech plus my custom one. So you can also save it as a custom. And what you can do, you can just copy these files, put them on a flash drive, go ahead and copy these files to the same folder on a different machine and Adobe Premiere Pro is gonna recognize them and it's gonna show all your presets over here. And then you can just change between different presets there you have it guys this is how it's done it's pretty simple when you know how to do it it's really simple there's nothing complicated so knowledge is really important and if you want to know more go ahead and check out my other videos on adobe premiere pro there's going to be a lot of helpful tip tutorials and also i'm going to have a full basic course in adobe premiere pro i'm going to list it in the description it's not out yet but it's going to be soon so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos and don't miss when the course coming out if you find this video helpful please give it a like click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys bye bye